Do you want to see how a computer grades coins? Stay tuned because I'm going to show you how MintState.com grades coins. Okay, this is MintState.com. Now this uh, is a beta version of the grading application. It's not available to the public yet. I wanted to show you how this works and exactly what it does to give you an idea. What we have currently, we do have the coin values and the coin collection and the coin identifier. One of the things I want to mention to you about the coin values for this mintstate.com is that it is an average of the coin dealer newsletter, their actual CPG, their retail values, plus NGC and PCGS. The, those values are averaged. Then we take about 20, 25% off to give you an idea of what a dealer might pay you. So that's not retail and there will be discrepancies and we do want people to report um, errors and things like that, that that doesn't look right. Anyways, let's move on to this. I want to show you the, the beta version. Like I said, we're only grading the averse of coins here. This is not grading both sides. Uh, this is what we came up with so far, or Mike and Hutch came up with. I helped with some of the grading parts and, and obtaining some of the images. So as you can see, it's very similar to the coin identifier application. But it gets it's different as you go along. So what we're going to do, well, first off, we will put the graded coin in and let it load. Load time varies. It will depend on your the speed of your connection, the size of the image, and things like that. And as you can see, this image is not inside the circle. It's not large enough. So we need to enlarge this image. Now to do that, you can either pinch it if it's on your phone, or you come over here and toggle the switches or the buttons. And like I said, you can go, want to be right inside the circle. And if you mess up, you can always make it smaller. You can rotate it. So let's do that. We'll show you how to rotate the obverse. And it looks like it's just a little bit, needs zoomed in just a little bit more. So to me, it looks like it's pretty much aligned. So now we want to have the system. You want to check image to continue. What it will do, it will check and see if it's, the right size and this is where a lot of people will get errors on focus so you want a focus coin as i told you before it for this to work it needs a good image just like a human being would need a good image to grade a coin so continue to step two now we want to upload the obverse image and we'll do the same thing we did with the obverse image we'll load the reverse image here and we'll do the same thing as we did before we want to zoom it in so that it fits inside the circle as close as possible. And like I said, it's there's nothing wrong with practicing, okay? And keep trying and, you know, you can do different, like rotate a little bit here or there. And, and it's very important that you do it because this system does need good images. And that's just the way it is. The better the image... Uh, the, the better it's aligned, the more accurate the grading is. Okay, now we're going to continue to step three. Now in this step, it will identify the coin series. So the system is determining the coin type. It says it's a Morgan dollar and it's standard. Now we want to put in the date. It's an 1884 and it's a New Orleans mint. And this will allow us to go to step four. So when we go to step four, now we have to do what's an alignment. Now this is probably the most difficult part, but it is important that you align your coin properly. Okay, what you have is like a template of the letters and the bust. You want to align the coin within those lines and you want to do that by using these toggles here, these uh, buttons. So we have the vertical and horizontal, which moves the coin up and down, back and forth. And then you have the rotate here. Now I've demonstrated this already. It's going to take some practice for some of you. Now, the saving grace for this is that the system will help you a little bit, and you might have to allow it to help you a lot at times. It just depends on how much you're willing to work at this because, you know, this is an important part of this. And like I said, you want to just to kind of play around and try to get it within the boundaries as best as possible inside these lines, and then just click Check Alignment. Allow the system to check your alignment. And it'll take a little bit of time. Sometimes you'll have to click this twice and until you get a feel for it. 
Um, that's just, it's kind of, no, it's normal. It took a lot of practice and it can take some time. It says that it found, here's what it says, congratulations, the best alignment adjustments were determined. So we want to apply that. So now we have an aligned obverse, which is the most important right now because we are, like I said, just grading the obverse. So we want to continue to step five. And once we go to step five, we're going to do the same thing with the reverse image. So it looks like it might need zoomed in just a little bit. A lot of times it's basically needs zoomed in. And you can move it back and forth as well just to kind of see if it's fit inside the outline there. And I'm getting it pretty close, but I'm going to leave it like this for a minute without rotating it. And I want to show you what the system does. If it's too much out of alignment, it will align it a little bit for you, but then you'll have to do some more alignment. We'll see if um, I pass the limits here. But it's something that you want to practice. It's going to be worth it. You know, even if it takes time. I mean, if you have a coin, you're kind of questioning, you just kind of want an idea. Yep, there it is. It says alignment adjustment limitation was reached. So we want to apply required adjustments, and then we want to go back in and we want to try to just a little bit more maybe you know touch a couple buttons there and see if we can get it to there now we'll try it let's just let it check alignment again i did that on purpose because some people are going to get too impatient this is not a software for impatient people you, it will never get anywhere but each time it does this it learns each sample teach it learns from the samples and the more samples that are introduced the better the grading can get so here we have apply required adjustments. It says, congratulations, the best alignment adjustments were determined. So now we're, we're ready. We're ready to go to the results. Now, if you remember, this was an NGC. Now it's starting to grade it. Mint State 62, Morgan Dollar. Now this is not always going to be accurate. Uh, this time the peak grade was it determined as a Mint State 62. But as you can see, it also has a chance of being something on the other, either side of that. And that's how that works. Now, like I said, you can grade other coins. You can go through, and it's not going to grade a reverse. It won't give you any results, but it'll give you, here's the adverse results. You'll have the reverse results eventually. This is why it's important that we obtain funding, uh, donations, try to get some revenue going. We've got ads on the site. If, if you click on them and you buy something, that helps us out a whole lot. And that way, we can get this going. Uh, Morgan Dollars is just the first coin type we work with. Uh, we're going to do Lincoln Cents next. So this time, let's go with the coin that's not graded. We'll pick this one here. Let it load up. And it's pretty close to the size it needs and the alignment it needs. So we're going to move on to step two. This would be more like a picture you would take if you, know, you had it on your countertop or tabletop. So let's go to step two, and then we will upload the reverse image of that one. Like I said, this, this is not a program for the impatient. You, you have to be patient on this. So we'll go to the next one here and we'll wait for the reverse image to load. And there you have it. It's pretty much in alignment. We'll just let it check the image and make sure. Okay, let's continue to step three. So now it's going to determine the coin type as it did before. And it says a oh, Morgan. If it doesn't say a Morgan, change it. You can fix it if you're using the system and, and it's not perfected yet because it will learn. So this one here is a 1900 Morgan dollar. We know it's a Morgan and we know that it's a New Orleans Mint again. And now we're allowed to continue to step four. Now this is the alignment phase. This is where you want to try to align. It looks like it needs rotated. And let me see here. Went the wrong direction. If you start going the wrong direction, just fix it. It's, it's Like I said, you're going to play with it a little bit, try to figure it out. We're going to zoom a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Let's go vertical. See if we can get this. Yeah, see, it's it's a little bit larger than what it needs to be, and you just kind of got to play with it. Sometimes you can overdo it. Like, I've overdone it. So we want to click alignment. And let's. It'll go past the limitations here, but let's just play with it. Let's just test it out and see how well it does. Mike and uh, Hutch have done a really good job on this. Uh, we've tried to make it to where it's so it's easy as possible. But it's not perfect. It's never going to be something perfect. Um, that's just not the way it works. It's definitely out of alignment. So we're going to apply the required adjustments. And it seems like my image was off a little bit um, for whatever reason. So we're going to 
rotate it a little bit try to get it in the alignment that it's supposed to be since it helped out a little bit and now I think maybe we'll be able to get it to move forward so we're going to let it check alignment again and as it does this you know just remember you know it's determining the best orientation so that it can grade the averse of this coin and that's what you want it to do you want a really good clear image that's sized correctly the right proportions and things like that you know ultimately it it has actually found the best alignments and I will do that and then we can move on to step five and there is a little variance here in the allowance within these um, thread here but like I said it's a template and you got a template that you can actually use to put the coin in there and try to align it inside of it. So let's just see if this, this looks like it's pretty close. So let's try this up and then we'll go down a little bit. It looks like it's pretty close. So let's go ahead and check the alignment on it and see if we can move forward after the first try. I said, just be patient as well. There we go. It, it looks like we're going to be able to do it and we're going to get this coin graded. So now we can kind of get an idea. Now to me, this coin's cleaned a little bit. It's a 1900 over CC. I think it's been cleaned in the past. Um, but, you know, we're not determining that. We want to determine a grade. Let's just see how it grades it. Here we go. Drum roll. See what grade it gives this coin. It put it in the, basically, the G6 range. To me, it's it's pretty close. Um, probably, to me, I would have probably called it a G. But it's right just below the very good. So we're looking at the, you know, G6, VG8 is what it graded the coin as. You know, it's not perfect. It's not going to grade coins exactly um, or be exactly on the money every single time. But this is a start. This is a beginning. This is what we are trying to achieve something like this to work on so that we can eventually grade coins like this and maybe even grade 3D coins in the future. So there you have it, everyone. It's not perfect. It's the beginning. And, you know, it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of funding. Unfortunately, you can't get around paying developers to put all the time it takes into this. It takes a lot of expertise. Grading is not a science, but we can move closer in that direction by using a program like this. And like I said, it, it did grade the coin fairly decently. Um, like I said, we did two different samples. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please visit mintstate.com and put your collection in, check out some coin values, and, and have a great day.